Hi, this is Christian Glück, Product Manager from Dynacord, and I'd like to give you a sneak preview on what will happen in our next release, SonicQ 1.4, our sound system software. So, first, we will have some additional blocks in the DSP for our open architecture MXE5 matrix mix engine. So, I have already have a configuration here, and what you see, the first new entries we will have under the dynamics, there is a block for automatic gain control. Then we have an ambient noise compensation. And last but not least, in the mixing section, we are having an auto mixer. The auto mixer, when you bring it in, comes by default is two, but as all the mixing elements in SonicQ, you can adjust and put it to the size of channels that you need. Talking about the auto mixer, as you can see, we have a mixed output, it's a, it's a, it's a gain sharing auto mixer. So we have a mixed output and every channel has an individual direct out. So whatever you need to do in the DSP configuration, fully flexible to do it. Let's go to the config part to see how the blocks look. That's the auto mixer part, the automatic gain control, pretty much what you expect when you, when you turn it on. So that block is typically used to keep an input signal within a certain audio level range. So if something is below a certain level, you increase it. If it's above a certain level, you compress it basically. So it's a combination of a noise gate, uh, expander and compressor in one piece. And last but not least, uh, the ambient noise compensation. That's probably the most complex block. So typically this allows you to have an ambient signal through one or various microphones, filtered or not filtered, to control your program signal. So all these three new blocks will be in the next release, which we plan to have out in May later this year. There's more to come on Sonic 1.4. Hello, my name is Tobias, and I want to show you an interesting new feature of our Sonic 2 panel designer. Panel Designer is used to create custom user interfaces, like here you see a hotel lobby, for example, or um, a restaurant with custom photographs in the background and, and control panels. And the new feature for our next SonicQ release, or one of the new features will be that you can add the new web view control. The web view control basically allows you to display a website. So by default, it shows our Dynacord website, but you could also display a web interface of whatever third party software or hardware. Imagine you have a small Dante break in, break out box, which has these people in and the web interface, then you can integrate it by displaying the web interface here. Alternatively, imagine you have a projector you want to control, which has a web interface, just open the web interface in here and you can have access to your projector. Okay, now let's have a look at the panel I just designed in Panel Designer in the real world. So this is the restaurant screen. I now switch to the audio player page I just created and I connect to the web interface of a third party audio player software. So with this third party software, you can create different audio players, different zones, different playlists. And with the web view control, which is basically this area, we can now integrate this example third party software, which has a web UI into our SonicQ panel designer designs. Okay.